if moving forward and allowing our dogs to sniff is a reward, let's reward our dogs for the right stuff, okay? So let's play a little game. I call this red light, green light. So if my dog's on a loose leash, that's a green light. You've earned yourself a reward and I'm gonna move. If you pull and there's a tight leash, up, oh, red light for me. I'm not moving. If your dog is on a loose leash, you can take a few steps and reward your puppies with movement. If you want to, you can also add a couple treats to that if your puppy checks in with you and gives you eye contact. Now, if your puppy's totally checked out, you can help them out by giving them a little, hello, puppy. puppy it's like, oh yeah, good. And then yes and reward once they give you a loose leash. Good guys, all right, let's all ask our puppies to sit, please. And now let's take off their leashes. Walking with your puppies by your side, yesing and rewarding eye contact. Same game, you just happen to not have a leash on. Ready, go. <laughs> Woo, go get your puppies if they're loose. Yes and reward for eye contact. Good, good. <laughs> good scout. All right, let's get another sit. Everybody sit. All right, guys, find your own puppy, please. Let's work our stays again. Good, stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Excellent. Good. Good, you guys. Release from the stay. Now go play. Go play. Go play. Good. So make sure, guys, when you're doing a stay, every time you release, it's just you're releasing your dog from the stay. The go play is a separate command. Okay? So when you release from a stay, you're releasing, you say, good doggy, good job. And then go play is separate. Okay? So we get a nice solid release from the stay. And it's not this huge like, woo, I released from the stay to go play. You release from the stay, praise your puppy gently, and then send them to go play. Okay? Let's try that again. Grab a puppy, any puppy. Let's try another down stay, please. Now get the down stay. Hi, Lily. Down. Good. That's it. Good. Now reward that. Good. So let's work on a sit stay. And we're going to start building some movement. This is the beginning of building distance. So I'm just going to tap my feet around and get my puppy used to me moving my feet around out as they stay. Really? Sit. This is so that pretty soon I can start stepping. Now I'm only going to do as much as she can handle right now. So it might be too much for me to just walk off, right? She breaks the sit stay. She wants to follow. So what I do now is just play with maybe changing my weight. So if it's too much, I go back to where I was before. Does that make sense? <laughs> and if they break, you just want to tell them, ah, uh -uh, down. All right, guys, let's try some recall. So you're going to call your dog's name and your recall word, remember? Fido, come. And then you're going to make it happen. Try to only say it once. Good, recall. <laughs> Put the treat right on her nose. Put the treat right on her nose. So you're going to go right in here. Hello. So what if we call our puppy and they don't come? Or they're busy? What do we do then? How do we fix that? We go to our puppy. You can do it a couple ways. If you want to lure it, you can go to your puppy, put that treat right on their nose and follow them back. Don't give them that treat though. That's a bribe. Does that make sense? So I can say, Lily, come. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Lily, come. Yes. Now she gets the treat. You see that? So I lured it the first time, but she knows the phrase already. So I don't want to give her that treat. That's a bribe. Lily, come. If she does it on her own, then she gets the treat. Okay, guys, let's try it. Recall. Excellent recall, Jasper. Good. Now, get her attention. There you go. Hello. Make her follow you. Let's give you something tastier to work with here. Okay, guys, so you're going to get your own puppy again. We're going to do one last stay. 
stand stay. So, if you keep your hand a little lower, as you deliver the treat, you keep your dog's head down, right? Remember how we taught sit in the beginning? We raised the head up and the butt went down. You guys remember that? So, we're going to do the opposite idea. So, we keep the head slightly lower so that we keep that butt off the ground. Does that make sense? So, I'm going to lower myself a little bit. So, I keep my hand coming a little bit lower. I stay my puppy. Keep my hand low. Stay my puppy. Keep my hand low. We're going to work for some time here. No distance just yet. Just for time. Stand, stay. In the beginning, you might have to go a little faster. So you're doing stay, reward, stay, reward, right? Rewarding really fast and really often. And then you start to lengthen that time out. Stay, one, two, reward. Stay, one, two, three, reward. If he goes into a sit, I just correct him with an instruction, okay? Uh-uh, stand. Yes. Come on, stand, stay. Woo. And if I have to really go fast, so he does. He wants to figure it out. He's like, what are we doing? Come here, you. Stay. Good. So I just work until I catch it. Does that make sense? Yeah. I work until I catch the behavior that I want, and then good boy. And then I reward the behavior that I want. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, good. All right, guys, so go ahead and settle your puppies on your laps. Let's talk about our homework. So obviously this week, you guys are going to be working on stay. <laughs> obviously, right? You guys probably got that picture already. So you got your sit stage, you got your down stage. Try those with some movement this week. Stand stays a little different, a little more difficult, so just for time this week, okay? Also, we worked on some loose leash walking this week, right? So we remember teaching our dogs the difference between the tight leash and the loose leash, not actually going anywhere, rewarding with our yes. Then we also have, of course, our recall. We talked about how do we fix a recall when it doesn't work. Well, you can lure it, and that's all right, but you don't want to give them that treat because that's a bribe. You want to get their attention, that's fine, Look what you could have had if you had come the first time. Let's try that again. You ready? Okay. Puppy come. Good puppy. Go play. Does that make sense? Uh, remember our take it and leave it game that we played first week and the second week also? Keep that going. Try it with different stuff. Toys, chew toys, a ball, something like that that your puppy also likes. And then we did some sits and stuff today. Did you guys notice? Without grabbing your puppy. So getting your puppy to sit. While they're, while they're doing other stuff without grabbing them, right? We're working on some distance commands with that. Okay, so try that this week also, asking your puppy to sit without having to grab them first. Okay? All right, guys, you did great work today. You guys did some really hard stuff. Good. Good job. All right, guys, everybody get your leashes on.